G'day, welcome back. So back on bodywork today on the uh, Morris Minor. Uh, saw last time we got all these nice new panels and now uh, the plan today is to get at least a couple of these kind of in place. Not welded in, not finished, just held in place so we can start kind of checking things of where they should be. So as you can see, we've got this B pillar back in uh, and we're gonna kind of split it up into two halves. Uh, now, as always, with things like this there's the right way the wrong way and anywhere in between as to how you actually get it done uh, so what I've chosen to do put this B pillar back in and we're going to work on this corner here so we we're going to chop out the floor chop out the bits we need to uh, put the new bits in and then we can off, offer up a door make sure everything's kind of nice and square uh, and then we can move on to the back half so yeah that's kind of how I've worked it out in my head uh, as a way to kind of make it manageable because that's where I was starting to struggle as to how I actually kind of get started and, and move forward. So that's the plan. Um, do some chopping, do some sticking and um, see how it turns out. Right, so here's what we need to get out of the way now. Um, so we've got a few welds here, there and there. Uh, put some wee plates on the back, um, but yeah, it's kind of in our way, it needs to come out, uh, so we'll zip that off, then we'll see what we can get to next, but <sighs> I've taken measurements here and there, I've put this B pillar back in uh, to keep our shape, uh, measured, measured it all up, all still square, so we can take this off nice and easily, um, yeah, that just gets that out of the way, then we can figure that out later on. Um, so yeah, choppy choppy. Right, so that makes life a bit easier. Uh, we've got this out of the way, we can see the next parts we need to get to. Uh, the plan is to work on, it's like an onion, it's full of layers. So we're going to work on the innermost layer out, um, which will be this part of the floor pan here. Uh, so we're going to work from, you probably can't see this, the cross member there that runs the length of the car. The repair panels are split into, they kind of meet on that cross member. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this front half of the car first. So we'll do this repair panel. Uh, then we can build up these other bits that we need to fabricate and stuff. So to get to those, we need to take out this kind of bit of boxing here. Uh, again, we'll split it in two. I found some more rust that I might I'll show you shortly. Uh, so we'll take that off. Then we can measure up, chop out that bit of the, the floor pan, get that in there and then we've got a nice base to, to work off. Uh, we've still got our B pillar there, then we can kind of work it on out, then we can get the front door sorted, make sure that fits uh, before we get onto the back. So we know that the front half will be square, or 60s Britain square, 58 Britain square, uh, then we can work on the back half, keep that all kind of lined up nicely. Um, but yeah, that seems to be the plan so far. Uh, so yeah, we'll chop out this bit of box, chop out what's left of that corner, uh, get the floor in, weld it up, get it all looking pretty uh, and then kind of 
work backwards. Right, so let's just have a stop and see where we're up to. Uh, we've got this part of the floor here, which is this panel here. Um, so I just need to get rid of this this last kind of corner bit here. Uh, I'll show you. We found some more rust down there, so we're not too concerned about maintaining that bit, clearly, because I've already chopped it out. Uh, so I've drilled out those rivets there and come on to this side here and again this whole corner's got a toast so so we can get this new floor part in we're just going to chop straight through there and again we've got repairs to do in there too so going to chop it back where we need to and then at least we can get this part of the floor in then we can start working out where other bits need to go this whole whole section here is is this part on this repair panel uh so yeah once i think that that panel goes to around there and we could try and keep some of this but it's all pretty pretty crusty so we'll use the whole panel um but yeah that's that's down the track uh, our aim of the game is to get this one sorted uh there is a well there is an issue um i don't think our repair panel quite covers quite reaches good metal in all places so we might need to make some little patch panels just to fill the gaps um, but yeah let's um, chop that corner off measure up here uh, cut this out get our new panel in oh, it makes some space Right, that's all I need to take off right now. So we'll do that bit quite neatly, but there's gonna be more that needs to come off behind. So keep it simple. Just do what we absolutely need to do right now uh, for the sake of stuff. Uh, so take that panel out there. It's gonna be like that, like that. Uh, but for this inner panel, I might cut it a little bit lower so I can kind of make sure I know what shape I need to rebuild afterwards.
That's that bit. There's our holy moly. Right, now we've got the space we need so we can get this panel in. Right, so we've got the edge of this floor pan offered up. Uh, pretty good fit. Um, just had to do some kind of dinging, knock some of these bits flat to actually get the panel on. Uh, be a bit of work to do there that I'll sort out. Uh, but you can see we kind of butts up to some good metal, some not so good metal, uh, some decent stuff here. Um, but yeah, we'll cut it out to the size of the panel and um, let's see what we got left to do. But no, it seems to fit pretty well, this panel. A uh, bit of work to do down on that corner there. And just got to sort out where we chop it in here and then have to do some kind of rust proofing and bits on that jacking point uh, but yeah I'll um, set you up and uh, see where we go from here all right so that's clamped in place so we can describe the edge of the panel here can see the scribed line there um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut like a few mil uh, to this side of it um, so I've still got a little bit of metal to work with uh, and see what we need to do I might need to then put in the repair panel here that we need to do uh, but yeah, if we get this whole section out uh, but yeah, we've got a scribe mark and I'll get this out of the way and then we'll another step further on. Gonna use this bit of metal as a bit of an edge uh, just so we cut a nice straight line. in place I'm gonna put a new disc on the chopper choppy disc at low and we're just gonna go zing, right up there
look at that. Hang on, can you see that? That's quite special, eh? Quite happy with that. It's just there. So what do we need to do to get that? So an ambulance just went past. Now them dogs are going nuts. Funny dogs. We just need to trim that off there a touch. That's all right, eh? Fits pretty well. Right, so I'm just going to tidy up some of the rust in here um, and then we can get that panel marked exactly where it's going to go and uh, do some more test fitting, final fitting, fitting in general. I've tidied up all the um, surfaces, taken some of the paint off there, uh, had a wee jiggle so I'm going to scribe a new line which is probably more accurate than the original line and then we'll see what we do next. So we'll just get this all Got a new line, which is pretty close to the uh, original, but yeah, slightly, slightly different. Um, so the question is, am I brave enough now to to chop on the line? Well, what's the worst that could happen? I suppose. Well, can't make progress by not doing anything, so. Or do we just leave that there for the time being? Now nah, we can chop it out, surely. Surely, surely. so we've trimmed up our line uh, so it should be a pretty good match with our panel just tied it up with the grinder and bits because there's this wee curve at the end but I think we're looking pretty pretty good there that's pretty tight pretty tidy a nice weldable gap I think we get away we're just kind of gently welding this bit here famous last words but still a fair bit of metal on that bit that once was rusty uh, so yeah um, I did chop a wee bit too much out the corner down there but that's we can sort that see so yeah, I'm quite happy with that that looks pretty good um, 
I've got this bit here. I'm just going to put some. What am I going to do? Put some rust, rust proof stuff on there. Um, and then we can. Well, am I going to tack that into place with a welder? That'd be a brave move, wouldn't it? Could do. I suppose we could. No time like the present. Alright, so we're just going to put some of the rust prime converter and sealer just on this section here. Just uh, again, just because we can't can't really get into it too easily, so we'll just make sure it's all tidy as a tiger. Not essential, but you have to pour it into a separate container because you throw away what you don't use. So we've just got a little bit in there. Keep it away from the areas we're actually going to be welding. Right, so here's our welding setup. It's a SIG weld, weld skill, 135 amp MIG welder. Now we're running straight CO2. Probably not the perfect guess for what we're doing, but that's what we've got. And in terms of our settings, if you're playing along at home, uh, Output voltage we've got set to 2, uh, wire speed about 4.8 give or take. Uh, I've just done a couple of really test welds on one of the old panels and I think they look pretty pretty adequate. We've got good penetration. Hang on, I'll spin that over. Yeah, good penetration there, uh, looks pretty pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to get that panel tacked into place. Okay, so we're in for our first bit of welding. We're just going to tack this panel into place. Uh, it was a bit of a bear to actually get the clamps somewhere in there clamping because it's quite a long reach and bits but we got it done end up using these f clamps with a, a block underneath uh, but yeah it's pretty flat pretty level uh, there's another clamp up here so we've got three clamps we're just going to tack it in a few places reset our clamps tack it in a few more places just get it all nicely in there it lines up really nicely uh, you see we've dialed in the welder hopefully that's bang on the settings, cleaned off the paint from the new panel um, paint's nice and clean, got a good earth fingers crossed, we'll go to plan Perhaps if we turn the gas on, I suppose. Yeah, it definitely helps if you turn the gas on. Which one have we got? Two. Two and four was our sweet spot on the bench.
that's going okay. Yeah, we've burned through a couple of places where the um, old metal's a bit thinner. We'll adjust bits and pieces for that, but uh, otherwise it's, it's working alright. So first panel is on, I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit and you'll see the finished results in the next episode. Uh, I'm happy it's pretty straight, pretty square, happy the welding's going okay. Not the prettiest I've ever seen but I'm sure there's worse out there. Uh, it'll certainly tidy up with a grinder and um, a few touch ups uh, but yeah pretty happy so far. Um, this welder works pretty well. What settings we ended up with um, Voltage of 2 and a wire speed of 4 seem to work pretty well on this vehicle. Um, yeah, getting good penetration. Um, uh, so yeah, quite happy with that. I'll tidy it up, come back, have a look and um, do the next one. So thank you very much. Comment, like, subscribe and we'll see you for, for that. Cheers.